So in terms of people at risk, we mainly see this in young folks. So in, in older children and younger adults uh, is where we see it the most. It's, it's more prevalent in adults than in children since there's many more of us than, than children in the world. Uh, but the age of onset can be anywhere from uh, after 10 years of age till anywhere in life. Um, sometimes there's presentations as late as in the 80s, but typical patient is in their 20s or 30s. They present in one of two ways. One is with uh, immediate symptoms where there's just obvious blood in the urine and patients are usually relatively panicked about that. They may or may not have increased protein in the urine, high blood pressure, or abnormal kidney function, but certainly the evidence of just seeing red urine drives them in, and then they get further evaluation. And if, it, if they have persistent blood in the urine, and if they have some of those other features, high blood pressure, kidney dysfunction, um, or heavy proteinuria, they'll go on and get a biopsy and get a diagnosis. Alternatively, and, and more commonly, especially as patients get a little bit older, is that, that they'll just have a sort of finding of abnormal laboratory tests. Uh, perhaps their blood pressure will be high in clinic and that will get more tests done, but even more typically routine urine tests and blood tests are done. And there's a finding of blood and protein in the urine that's otherwise unexplained and the evaluation carries on but ultimately the diagnosis can only be made today by kidney biopsy. Uh, furthermore, the disease is a little bit more prevalent uh, in, in men than in women and, and progresses a little bit more aggressively in men than in women. And then certain populations um, seem to be more likely to get this disease than others, particularly in Asian populations, more than in Caucasians, which is more than in uh, folks from the African continent.